walking down the hall the other day and I felt my phone buzz. So I decided to take a look and the notification was from my news app. And the title of the headline was um, a new cystic fibrosis drug may turn a fatal disease into a manageable condition. I was immediately overwhelmed with emotion and you might be wondering why this disease has, this headline has such a big emotional impact on me. It's because in 2016, my 15 year old cousin passed away from cystic fibrosis and her little brother um, is currently fighting the disease as a 15 year old. I just spent hours talking about both of them, but I want to spend this time, <clears throat> I want to spend this time educating you all um, on cystic fibrosis in case you didn't know what it was. So, this is her. So, how many of you have heard of cystic fibrosis? Okay, cool. So it is caused by mutation in the CF transmembrane conductive coagulator, and for purpose of time, we call it the CFTR gene. And I say in the article approaching two decades of cystic fibrosis research by Rain J. Shea. So the symptoms include coughing, wheezing, lung infections, breathlessness, and other health complications. And growing up, um, we grew up together, so I didn't really think of it as I really didn't realize or didn't come to terms with the fact that she had a disease. I never thought that she had a cough. I knew she was sick, but never really crossed my mind that it was a life-threatening illness that she was struggling and fighting every single day. So at family events and family dinners, she would often just be coughing, coughing, and coughing. And recently, I've been having a cough. I've been sick, so my voice is like a little um, on and off. And I can barely do it just over these past few days, and I can't imagine what it was like for her every waking second, every waking day, coughing and coughing and coughing. Um, and it gets painful after a while. Um, and if anyone deserves to go through that, no one does, but it definitely was not her. She was like an angel. Um, so those are some symptoms of it. And in the journey of the cystinosis gene by Colin and Elder, it is saying that the life expectancy of a person with this disease is 37 years. And again, going back to our childhood, I never knew the statistic um, because I wasn't really super aware that she had a disease. I wasn't. It wasn't in the back of my mind that she might not outlive um, her parents or she, she has shorter life expectancy than everyone else. But um, the week that she got admitted to the hospital, that's when everything became real. And um, she was only 15. And I did not, um, I wasn't really expecting that to hit directly our family. You always hear statistics and one in four people do this and two in four people, they never really apply it to real life and like your real family and real people. Um, so that really hit hard when that happened. Um, so a thousand new cases of cystic fibrosis are diagnosed each year. And how has it been treated? So in Kikorin's 2019 article, Cystic Fibrosis Revisited, he released a past treatment for this disease. So area clearance techniques, as mentioned in the article, are very popular and often have been linked to medication, which is exactly what we want to do for that treatment. So vibrating vests like this one is often worn by patients to loosen mucus in the lungs, digestive tract, and other parts of the body. And this technique, is, uh, as well as medication and nebulizers, are often used to know symptoms of this disease. Um, so these are treatments, but they're in no way cures. So that's nebulizer, no medication. Um, so another very popular method, but not as easy to access, is a lung transplant. So that's exactly what my cousin did. So four years before she passed, she had a lung transplant. She got the lungs from a little girl who had recently passed, and um, he gave her four extra years of her life. And the reason she was admitted into the hospital a few weeks um, before her passing was because her body began to reject her lungs. So they could not, um, that started her downward spiral, and that's when she was admitted. So um, going back to what I was talking about at the beginning of my speech with the headline. Uh, the FDA just recently announced the approval of a new combination of three drugs called Tripacta. As mentioned in Norma's Media's article, FDA approved the first triple combination therapy Tripacta for cystic fibrosis. Tripacta works to target an effective CFTR protein so that it functions more effectively. So in order to receive this um, drug, you need to be at least 12 years old. You need to have a specific mutation that affects 90% of the cystic fibrosis community. So 30,000 people in the United States are affected by this disease. So 27,000 out of 30,000 people to be, um, are going to be eligible for this medication, which is amazing. Um, so let's talk about raising awareness. 
Um, so ran across a writer of the CNN Global Enterprise reports in his November 2019 article that the CF Foundation is committed to not only finding treatments for the cure, but they've wanted $500 million to assist uh, reverse drug discovery through 2025. So this is obviously incredible news, but a big part of me wishes this drug was created earlier. I feel like nothing might have been different if it was created in 2015, 2014, like I might have been able to take it and get better. Um, but my cousin's little brother, Sifo, who is um, battling these things, like I mentioned currently, will most likely, I'm almost 99% sure that he would be able to take it in a couple of years. Um, so awareness through media as well has been really prominent this year. So Justin Baldoni um, recently directed a movie called Five Feet Apart, featuring Cole Sprouse and Haley Richardson. And this is sort of the first time cystic fibrosis has been highlighted in mainstream media, which is amazing. So my family is extremely happy about that. And it really brought attention um, and knowledge. And through knowledge comes taking action and taking steps. Um, so we're really grateful that this was created. And also throughout um, her time at the hospital, we are all <coughs> joining in prayer and trying to um, come together and rally. We created this slogan called Child Strong. So her name in English, what my name, Jenna calls her, my twin, and my mom is Isabel, but her name um, in Spanish, her Spanish name is Chella. So we created this um, little slogan, hashtag, for Chella Strong, it's a little sticker. So we made stickers, we made wristbands, and then we all got little shirts. Um, so we would wear these when she was in the hospital, and we would just wear this to come together. I think we wore it to a celebration of life. Um, so that's really helped us, because um, we're all obviously still affected by it. Um, so we're just come together and honor. So to conclude, I have covered the causes and symptoms, treatments, and the importance of raising awareness regarding cystic fibrosis. And I hope you've learned something new throughout my speech. And if any of you guys have a connection to a specific disease, I hope that you also get a buzz in your phone one day saying that one of you is immune and there's a change in your respect. Have a great speech.